guys welcome to my channel so again uh, this video is in continuation with the already ongoing hacker rank series of java so here we are going to work on the unsolved section of subdomain string so i am just left with four problems now and 47 more points to get my gold badge so um, before we jump on to the problem if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and let's jump back to the video so this is going to be the first medium if i recall correctly so that's a big change and um, if you jump to this problem i have to say like i hate regex i don't like it and there are a lot of libraries which can do the work uh, which is asked to us by hacker rank so there are a lot of solutions but as you can see we cannot import much right so that's why they are ac actually restricting us to use regex so what they ask us in layman terms is we will be given an app ip address and we have to verify it is a correct ip address or not so how do we do that so like uh, for an ip address i'm sure you guys know about it uh, they ha they have to be four uh, like they have to be in pairs of four and the digits are numbered from 0 to 255 255 as you can see here a dot b dot c uh, where a b and c d may range from 0 to 255 leading zeros are allowed that means um, i think that's um, clear enough but cannot be greater than three right so um let's try to hit that right so we need dot also to check it's like email checker in some cases so what we will do is what we are given is uh, we have been given a class already and here i can see that they are calling out a constructor of a new class and then there is this dot pattern uh, which is going to be a variable so it's not going to be static so what I will do is I'll just create my class my regex and inside I'm going to uh, create a constructor my regex right so now I just need a variable which is going to hold the pattern so here uh, they are calling out the pattern matches right so it is going to be in a string right now comes the main part so i'll explain this um, in um, breaks actually so what i'll do is i'll use my notepad to explain this in more clear sense so what do we do know like an ip address can um, can have four pairs a b c d and they can range from 000 to 255 so i'll take every scenario in a case like uh, it can have one digit only meaning 001 also 000 it is being considered as one digit so what i'll do is i'll just use 0 to 9 signifying that any number can come here right and it can also have two digits number so for two digits I'm going to use 0 9 twice right so I'll use these bracket because these are the ones recognized by regex so for one digit we are signifying 0 to 9 for two digits we are using 0 to 9 twice sorry I used comma by mistake okay so this first zero zero let me come down a bit uh, first zero to one is going to range from zero to nine obviously the second one is going to range from zero zero to double nine that is taking two digits number right now let's come down to the three digits number so that would be zero now this is the tricky part 0 1 and then the same thing same thing as in 0 to 9 and 0 to 9 what does this mean 
this means that there are uh, th there's a or condition here so it means that it can have um, hundred right because we ended at 99 so it can have hundred till 199 right that is what we meant and now what we need to do is we need to take in account after 199 so what we will do is we will just do 2 here because that that is the next number so 2 is going to be constant and that's why we don't need uh, or here so we need till 55 right but we are getting 3 2 1 4 5 also so I'm going to end it till 4 right because it will end at 49 so that means 0 to 9 again so this is going to take numbers till 200 to 249 now rest numbers left are 250 to 255 that means 5 is going to be 2 and 5 are going to be constant here so we can directly do 25 here and then we will just do 0 to 5 I hope this part was clear so this ultimately is comprising one a uh, one letter before full stop so let's say if the IP address is a b c d so this entire string is going to be a that means that we are going to repeat this four times and that's our regex I hope this was simple enough so I'll just remove spaces here and I will copy this and I don't have to paste it four times because that will be uh, stupid so what I will do is I will do a bracket here and before bracket I need to put uh, full stop also for escaping we have to do like this now I'll multiply this by 3 right good enough now the next one last one does not need a full stop that's why we are separating this like this I'll just paste it again right good enough now I think our code is done so let's try to run this okay it's coming out as false let's see if we missed something in regex let's put one bracket here and one bracket here now we have another bracket here now let's try to run this again okay so I was missing a bracket and this is what we needed to do and that's why it's working so let's try to submit and this is working fine I hope this was clear uh, I tried to explain it in as easier way possible and um, this is it for this video I hope um, I was able to clear out this problem so if I did don't forget to like subscribe and share and I will meet you in the next video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye